Florida became a state in 1845. It is the third most populous state in the United States, home to the most visited theme park in the world. It is where you'll find every convertible ever sold in the United States, be it a pasty white Infiniti M30 or a Lamborghini. And soon, many examples of the 2016 Buick Cascado will call it home. Florida is full of Buicks. Wonder if anyone bought a Rendezvous Ultra? It's in Florida. The Buick Riata, the company's last convertible before this. Also there. Buick, however, is eager to get those who better remember Bush vs. Score than Nixon vs. Kennedy to ask, that's a Buick? Which is how we arrive at the Cascada. The Cascada isn't so much a new Buick as a car that's new to Buick. It's been on sale for about three years as the Opel Cascada in Europe, along with badge-engineered siblings sold by Vauxhall and Holden in other parts of the world. Buick took the time to make several hundred changes to the Cascada for U.S. consumption and then found it without many rivals. The Chrysler 200 convertible, Volkswagen Neos, and Volvo C70 would all be prime targets for the Cascada here, were they not all dead now? Buick's gamble is that these Chrysler, VW, and Volvo, also Saab, for that matter, customers are looking for somewhere to go next. One thing is certain, the Cascada is eye-catching to Floridians. I had no fewer than six people in Miami and Key West walk up to me and ask what kind of car it was, or even say, that's that new Buick convertible, right? Despite being three years old, the Cascada's looks have aged pretty well. And it's been spared many of the tacked-on details, like fake portholes and chrome wheels, that were adhered to the Regal when it made its trip over from Opal Land. Top up or down, the Cascada is attractive. Unlike the Audi A3 or BMW 2 Series convertibles, the former being the Buick's prime target, there's no abruptness to the design, no sharply ending lines. The Buick looks relaxed in a Palm Beach or Palm Springs way, even on the inside with the convincingly stitched dash top and standard heated leather seats, one of the pieces redesigned for the Buick. That being said, the pattern on the seat material is a misstep, looking like it was inspired by Aunt Flora's 1972 patio furniture. Then it's surprising that you don't exactly sink into the cascada. While the seats are mounted low, they're not pillow soft. Exceeding expectations of soft seats and soft controls is a theme here. The steering provides more feel and precision than you might expect, and the response from the engine is as immediate as modern engines come. The 1.6-liter turbo 4 produces 200 horsepower, up from 168 in the Opel, paired to a 6-speed automatic transmission to provide more than sufficient performance for both on-ramp and passing maneuvers. But most importantly, it keeps quiet when you want to pose around town, parade mode, if you will. Torque steer is well masked in this front-wheel drive car, too. You might expect the Cascada to feel every... <laughs>